welcome to Ngaku Gaming here on some Destiny 2. Wanted to do a quick video talking about the changes with shaders and infusion. Infusions have been a really big sore topic since the Forsaken update, where is you cannot easily infuse or upgrade your weapon like you used to be. But first, I'll go ahead and get into shaders and tell you why I have not deleted my shaders yet. There is so hope for humanity. Yet. If you go over here to Master Rail. I don't know if you haven't oh, done this. So we begin then. Uh, one of the big things that a lot of people wanted was to be able to delete a whole bunch of shaders quickly, and now you can. You can do, I think five, five total, at the most. Or yeah, you can do five right away in the recycle menu. But I, I like to keep my shaders. I have not really. I've deleted a couple or recycled a few, and I'll show you why. And so one of my big reason things about shaders is um, sort of I noticed is there isn't really a consistency with the colors. So you will look at this and say, okay, well, this makes the color green, right? So maybe it's using the top of the bottom. And then you'll look at this one. Okay, and it's green, but it's using this right color green. Or actually the top one there. And this one, it's white. Like it's white and orange. There's really not no white or orange on there. So this one picks this white, which is the left color. And so the other ones, it was picking like the top one. So I keep I keep the shaders for that reason because I've just noticed inconsistencies as to like you might see these four colors, man, but your gun might not be the color you think it's going to be. So I keep them because I like to just look through them to see what color the shader is actually going to make a weapon or act what color is going to actually change my gear. That's one reason I keep them, and I will. I will also argue this is one of the top reasons I I have not deleted them. There were a lot of articles and things saying that you should delete them um, right away before Forsaken, but I would argue if you haven't, don't. Especially for uh, special ones like Indigo Matrix and Arctic Pearl, these legendary ones. Like you could go ahead and do that, but the thing about these is that they cause bright dust, and you only get bright dust from random engrams from everest or if you pay for them with real money now the thing about the new system is that you can pretty much use any shader you want even if you use all of it so if you use it all the way down to zero or two and you just use the last one it doesn't matter because with the new collection system you can go straight over here to collections whenever it loads go to flare and it will show you all the shaders so all the shaders that you actually personally found or unlocked via engrams, you can go and buy it again. And I'll go out and show you. I think I have a couple that are like on one or zero or something small. I'll use something I don't use that often. So I'll switch this quick fang and I'll use up a shader. So it's desert gold. And I'll use this one. Okay, so I have one. Ooh, wow, that's a nice color. Look at that. See how the color is like white or silverish? And these colors look nothing like that. Anyway, we'll use a desert gold. So now I don't have any more desert gold. I'm going to go ahead and switch that back. And switch to something random. So now I don't have any desert gold. And you're like, oh man, well now I have to find an engram or go and find it if that's the color I like. But no, with the collections, again, as I said, they show you a list of pretty much everything you've ever found in Destiny. Every shader you found, every gun you've ever found. And I might skip ahead because I'm not sure where to find the Desert Gold. Oh, here it is there here. So if it was like, oh, I really want Desert Gold, I can't go ahead and I'm not going to buy it right now because... I don't use my bright dust, but you can go ahead and if you have the glimmer and have the bright dust, you can go ahead and just buy it again whenever you feel like it. And, and the reason I was saying not to, just to reiterate, not to delete the, especially not the, um, the legendary ones. The legendary ones again cause bright dust. You can only get bright dust by spending real money at the Everest store or if you randomly get them in, um, and engrams so ones like the any of these purple one purple labeled shavers are legendary and so the blue ones are fine they don't they think they only cost like glimmer but i would i was if you're one to just like to clear out stuff i would say yeah go ahead and get rid of the green ones or you know these 
random blue ones. I've seen a couple of blue ones. Those, they're, they're, you, you'll get those pretty much all the time, and they're not as expensive. But these legendary ones definitely keep those because, again, you'll be spending your bright dust on those. And, you know, some people don't even have a lot of bright dust. Bright dust is hard to get because, again, you only get them from those special engrams or paying real money. I got a lot of mine just from engrams from Everest, and I never spent any just for that reason because you never... You never know. I didn't know that they were going to make this update and make you have to use Bright Dust for this. Also, sometimes there's stuff in a store that you might want to buy from Everest over here where you might want to use that Bright Dust. This is the only place in the we game right the currently channel. that you can get what Bright can Dust. Can I do for you, Guardian? And you can use that Bright Dust on stuff in here. Thank you for shopping at Eververse. All right, now that we wrapped up shaders, I want to go ahead and talk about infusions. Uh, infusions have been a big sort of topic since the release of the Forsaken update, and I totally understand why. Uh, now, if you haven't played Destiny or Destiny 2, you're probably wondering what a infusion is. Basically, an infusion is an upgrade. So you take a gun that you love, uh, a weaker gun, like the forward path here, it's one of my favorite guns. You see the power level or attack is 299. And my current power level, well, depending on what I select, could be over 400. I don't want to keep using a weaker gun, especially if it's um, legendary. You can basically pick a gun that you found in the engram or a gun you just ran to pick up that you don't like. You would go here and just infuse it and make it stronger. Uh, previously, it was about... It was about just glimmer. I think glimmer and legendary shards you would use. It was only about three or seven, or at the most, legendary shards and a few hundred um, of glimmer, and that was it. That's all it took to do it. And then you were done. You would just go ahead and upgrade this gun, upgrade that gun, upgrade that armor, upgrade as much as you want, or infuse as much as you want. Just combine those two items and make the one you selected stronger. It was real simple. And since then, I guess. Bungie was thinking well, that was just too easy and we want to make this more difficult and I, and their blog posts I'll link in the description they basically were saying that they wanted people to be careful what they pick instead of people just taking everything they want like okay I got six seven guns I love and just taking all of them and then six seven of these guns and and everything's just super strong and just taking everything with you all the time they basically wanted you to have to be very selective and very careful in what you pick and you know why you're picking it for the raid why you're picking it for nightfall and if you want this gun or that gun they want you to select the guns and just have a few favorite guns and infuse those basically when you do that infusing you use all this glimmer legendary shards master of cores and we me and my wife call this data lettuce i don't know how he's supposed to pronounce it but that or because for different guns it could actually be different items it's different for almost everything the huge thing that makes it difficult, especially these masterwork cores. See, for this gun, is dust like shards. And so, masterwork cores are very, very hard to come by. You only get them in selective weapons. You know when you have a masterworks weapon, it has like a gold kind of tint to it, like this gun. See, it's like gold right here. And it has a special kind of gold, shiny kind of banner at the top. You can tell it's special. And when you, when you uh, dismantle those and break those down you will get a masterworks core and those are really hard to get you 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 could do like strikes and nightfalls until you're blue in the face and you might just get one of those guns and maybe through an engram you might get one of those types of guns and if you don't like that gun you'll break it down you'll get the master cores and so i wanted to talk about an easier way to handle this so the old way is okay you would be like all right I love this gun right here. The forward path is really strong. I want to make it stronger. I'm going to infuse it. Instead of doing that, the best thing you can do now, because again, you're going to have to spend all this, and you might not get two more master cores for a long time. You want to be sure that you're using that. If you're doing it this method, you're really sure about that weapon, that you want to keep that weapon for a long time, and you're not getting rid of it. But if you're not, and you just say, hey, I really like this gun, and I like, like, for instance, the wrist runner was one of my favorite guns. I used it for a long time, and I'm like, I really like this gun, I, and I'm every all my other weapons are starting to be a lot stronger. I don't want to have to just sit here and keep using level 300, 
So the best thing you can do is go to collections. You see, now I have one that's uh, 429. I already did it, but I'll go ahead and show you. With the new collection system, uh, up here at the top, basically the collections is, I uh, wanna, it's sort of like a vault, like a store. Let's call it a store. It's like a store of everything you found so far in the game. So if you find an Ingram now and you get some brand new gun, it's gonna go to your collection. And if you decide, I don't like this gun that much and dismantle it and then, you know, a year or some months later, come back and be like, you know what, that gun was great. You can go back and buy that gun. I'll show you an example here. So let's say this right here is one of my favorite, favorite uh, masks. The Icarus Drifter mask is one of my favorite masks. And you can see it's not that strong. It's two ninety nine. dollars So instead of worrying about going here, going to the mask, going to infusion and saying okay i'm not going to see like for instance right here it takes um three master words cores for this i only have two so i can't even do it so i would just be stuck you know or i would be forced to pick something else and that was the one of the things the points they had in the in the uh news update they said they wanted people to be forced to pick other weapons or other gear or armor that they've never used instead of just saying oh i don't want this one i'm gonna infuse it with this one and be done with it they want you to be like well since i can't upgrade this to the current level i can just go ahead and pick this one because it's stronger and i can't i can't infuse it so if you really don't want to do that, you say you, you really like the one you have and you want to keep using that, you can't afford to infuse it. What you're going to do is go to collections. And then you'll pick whatever it is. So if it's weapons, if it's armor, then you go there. If it's exotic, it doesn't matter if it's a weapon or armor. It, all the exotics will be here. So that one was in armor. So I will go to armor. And then you'll make sure you're in the your right class. It will usually select the correct class for you. Uh, but I guess you can swap and look at what you have found for other characters. And so you would go figure out where you found it. And so this might, so it wasn't competitive. I didn't find that competitive. I believe I found the Icarus Drifter mask just playing the open world. So let's look through here. Should be easy to find. Uh, I'll say I saw another mask I actually like. So here it is. The Icarus Drifter. So it shows you the whole suit. I actually found all the pieces, but honestly, I don't like all the pieces. I just like the cape and the mask. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of mismatch it and just use shaders to get their color right. So right here, I can buy one. I'll use five legendary shards, 500 glimmer, and five gunsmith material. That's I almost got a thousand gunsmith material, so that's not even an issue. So I'll go ahead and press reacquire, and then you wait for it to work. I guess if there's some kind of like lag and then it won't work, and you try it again. <laughs> All right, so now it's saying, okay, I got that again. You basically reacquire it. It doesn't replace the one you have, so this is the one I had. And here's my new one at a 482. Now, the only downside to this, I was talking to uh, other people, a couple guys in my clan, is to say that, for instance, this mask was 500. If I really wanted to get this to 500, you're probably going to have to infuse it. And so, again, you're going to be wanting to make sure you infuse with the ones, the, you know, infuse items or gear or guns that you really want to infuse the the only big difference between going to the collection and just repaying for something that you really like and getting it that way is that if you infuse it you're mostly guaranteed to get it to be level 500 if i infuse the icarus drifter with the mythio so it's probably going to level this up from 299 to 500 or like 505 or something in that range really close and that's the only other difference i can find I would say another difference would be, let's say, for instance, this gun, I recently put a shader on it. The shader is a um, the Arctic Pearl, which is legendary. Let's say that you ran out somehow, you ran out of bright dust, or you don't have the materials, so you might want to just wait and go and infuse that weapon so you can keep your legendary shared shader that's attached to it already and also build the level up. Because then once you infuse, it's going to keep everything set the way you set it. So, for instance, with this one, the one I've reacquired, I have to go here and I have to select the shader I want. Because it's just going to come with the default shader. If I made some changes to the armor perks, I might have to change that. The armor perks might be slightly different. I, um, Coco, my wife, was telling me that sometimes you might get the same weapon, but 
the the traits might be different. So if you really like it the way it is with the traits it has, you might want to infuse for that reason. You might want to infuse because you have a legendary um, shader on it already. Those are the top reasons I would see you being forced to have to wait. Wait to get Master Words chords, wait to get the right amount of glimmer, wait to get all the things you need to infuse it. Otherwise, if you're just trying to level up your gear, you're saying, well, this is only 300. All you got to do, again, is go straight to collections, go to whatever that item is. So that's an armor item. Figure out where it was. That was an open world. Select through here. Go ahead and find it. I think it's two pages down. And then you go, bam, look, 482. I can go ahead and take that cape that I currently have from 300 to 482, bam, just like that. It's just going to cost me, let's see. It's just going to cost some glimmers, some legendary shards, and gunsmith materials. And most times, that's it. Now, this even works for exotic, so I want to point that out. I did say that the wrist runner was one of the guns I loved, but it was kind of weak. So you go to legendary, um, or sorry, go to energy the energy section and wrist runners right here all the exotics that you found let's say you found an exotic early on like when you first were playing the campaign and it's like 102 as you level up you can come here and just buy the exotic again and it's not even going to cause um any bright dust or any of those things it's just gonna usually the items will cost what it usually costs to get them so if it's a legendary or exotic, it's going to cause shard, um, legendary shards. It's always going to cause gunsmith materials. It's not even that much as you look between these. mostly the same amount. And let's say that it's a regular gun that you like. Because, you know, there's a few auto rifles I really love. Like the Ross Lisses. So, since it's not a legendary gun, it's just going to cause glimmer and gunsmith materials. Legendary guns will cause glimmer and legendary shards. And then, once you start getting things that you only buy from Everest... Those items will cause bright dust, legendary shards, all that, and that's it. So I hope that makes sense. I found this it's way easier to do it this way instead of worrying about the troubles of trying to get all the correct items to do the infusions and being worried about that and worried about using up all those materials. You can just buy the stuff you need unless there's a particular reason that you really have to infuse that item. Let's say you got... A legendary uh, shader on it you don't want to you know lose that shader or you want to um, buff that up to the highest level possible so if you want to get that weapon to 500 or more or something like that but otherwise I found find that this works the best it's the easiest to do it doesn't cost a lot it's not a bunch of trouble you don't got to stress out and then save that stress for the items that really really matter that you want to buff up well, I hope this was helpful. I hope this video, is, um, I hope you learned something from this video. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thanks for watching Ngaku Gaming. Later! Oh, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks so much for joining me. And if you did, go ahead and share with your friends. Like, subscribe if you didn't. Thumbs down. Give me a comment and tell me why you didn't like it so I can grow and improve. Until next time, peace.